Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our video. We've got a big matchup on Big Monday in the Big 12 with the Iowa State Cyclones traveling to the Houston Cougars. Every single week, there is a huge matchup in Big 12 play that will definitely impact the conference standings because right now, Houston and Iowa State lead the rest of the pack in the Big 12 because both teams are are tied at 9-3 and three in conference play. So whichever team can win this game, it would be huge for their chances of possibly being able to win the conference. So I'm going to preview and predict whether I believe that Iowa State can go on the road and knock off the Houston Cougars, something no other team has done this season, or whether I believe that Houston will be able to knock off the Iowa State Cyclones to get a slim lead in the Big 12 standing. Something that I did notice about this game has me cracking up because this game was originally not supposed to be on ESPN at 9 o'clock clock and I know why ESPN decided to change the matchup for this game because this is the game that should be on ESPN but originally Texas versus Kansas State was the game slated for this time slot. Virginia Virginia Tech is on at 7 o'clock on ESPN and then Kansas State Texas was slated for 9 o'clock whereas Iowa State Houston was supposed to be on ESPN U at 7 o'clock which is hilarious because Iowa State was not really expected to be that great of a team this year and I don't even know for sure if a lot of people thought Houston was going to end up being this good, even though it's Kelvin Sampson head coach. But with them transitioning to the Big 12, maybe they would have some slip-ups. Because as you can see, the time and network did change for this game. And at first today, you saw ESPN advertising Texas, Kansas State. Now they are advertising Houston and Iowa State for the time slot. So very smart marketing by ESPN to shift the game because this is the matchup everybody is going to want to watch. Kansas State, Texas is a good game as well. But there have been a lot of games that have been relegated to the SEC Network or ESPNU in the past that never got changed. So kind of ironic ESPN is changing it now. But this game is going to be big because we know that the Houston Cougars are tough to beat at home. But Iowa State is definitely a team that's capable of getting it done. The Houston Cougars are favored at an 86% chance to win, according to ESPN, to Iowa State's 13% chance to win. And ironically, if you look at Iowa State's schedule, all of their losses this year are are on neutral sites and they are on the road. And the same goes for the Houston Cougars as well. All of Houston's losses have been on the road. So we know that both of these teams, they defend their home court and they make sure no team can knock them off on their own floor. And Houston has a fantastic environment in college basketball. Kelvin Sampson, he has done a great job building up the program and making Houston a contender year in and year out in college basketball. And now he's doing it in the Big 12, which is so much harder than the American Conference because, again, all of these teams in the Big 12, even down at the bottom like Kansas State, UCF, they are a very competitive team. Really, the only team that's playing poorly right now is West Virginia, and even they beat Kansas this season. All of these teams are competitive, but like I said, neither team allows teams to beat them on their own floor, and it's going to be tough for Iowa State to be able to knock off Houston because the Fertitta Center is one of the best environments in college basketball. Ironically, though, Iowa State, the last time they did play at the Houston Cougars, they were able to knock off Houston at the Fertitta Center. But the catch is, it was back in 2008. And Kelvin Sampson was not the head coach of the Houston Cougars back in 2008. So it's hilarious that Iowa State was able to knock off Houston the last time they played in that tough environment. But Houston was not as good of a basketball team back then. But Iowa State has already beaten Houston since they joined the Big 12 this season. But it was not home. Iowa State knocked off Houston 57-53 in a defensive grudge match. Match. And like I said, Iowa State, just like Houston, does not lose on their own floor. They defend their home court. But Iowa State, I think a big thing that's going to be an issue for them in this game, if they're going to try to knock off Houston, is that you have to have a go-to score when it comes to playing in a super tough environment. And Iowa State doesn't have a go-to score. They've got a lot of great players. They're kind of built similar to what Auburn has with Bruce Pearl, with having a lot of depth. And that helps you out big time when you're trying to beat most teams in college basketball, but I just don't think that's what's going to help them beat Houston on the road. I think that one guy on their team is going to have to go off for at least 25 points if they're going to have a shot to win. Keyshawn Gilbert maybe could be that guy. He's averaging 14 points per game and four boards and four assists. Taman Lipsy is averaging 13 points and five assists. Curtis Jones is averaging 10 points, and then the rest of the roster has a lot of guys that contribute, and they're averaging 78 points per game as a team, and they only give up 62 points per game on defense. 
defense, whereas Houston, they score 73 points per game, and they only give up 54 points per game on defense. Houston is by far the best defensive team in the Big 12 and one of the best, if not the best team, in college basketball on defense. Kelvin Sampson, he preaches defense, and it resonates with his players. Iowa State has a great defense as well, but the key for Iowa State is they have to score more points than Houston. I know that sounds dumb because, yes, you have to score more points to win a game, but that's how Iowa State's going to win. Their offense has to be able to cut through that Houston defense because if Iowa State tries to win this game in a defensive slugfest like they did the first time around, then Iowa State will not be able to win this time because they're going to be on the road. And Iowa State, as a team, they shoot 36% from three, which is solid, but at the free throw line, they only shoot 69%. That's not all that great if you're trying to win on the road in a tough environment. I believe that Iowa State's going to have to shoot a much better percentage at the line if they're going to have any shot to win. But TJ Otzelberger squad has been one of the biggest surprise teams in college basketball this year. They're playing much better than people were expecting. They've really played well throughout his whole tenure so far as a head coach when most people did not think that was going to be the case after they really struggled at the end of the Steve Prom era, but he has done a great job, and Iowa State is one of the most underrated teams in college basketball this season. They're not getting talked about enough, but Kelvin Sampson's team, they do get talked about a lot, and it is well-deserved for how well their defense plays and how disciplined when they are as a team. LJ Cryer is averaging 15 points per game and two assists. Jamal Shedd's averaging 13 points and six assists. He's one of the best four generals in college basketball. Emmanuel Sharp's averaging 12 points per game and four boards. And then these other guys, Damian Dunn, seven points per game transfer from Temple has contributed very well. Juwan Roberts averaging nine points to seven boards. And all these guys are tough on defense. Joseph Tugler, he doesn't score a lot, but he's very good on the glass. And Houston can rotate a lot of guys in as well, just like Iowa State can. Neither team is as deep as Auburn, but they do have those tendencies of playing a lot of guys. Houston's offense is solid enough, even though they don't score as much as Iowa State. They only shoot 34% from the three-point line, which is worse than Iowa State, 43% from the field, but they shoot 68% at the free-throw line, which is worse than the Iowa State Cyclones. Neither team shoots well at the free-throw line, and that could prevent both of these teams from advancing far in the NCAA tournament. If they play one of those Cinderella schools in the NCAA tournament that play fast and they knock down all their shots on that given day. It could be tough for Houston and Iowa State. Iowa State is a 3C right now. Houston is a 1C, so you know they're going to play that type of team in the NCAA tournament. But that's in the future. We'll have to see what happens with these teams in the NCAA tournament. They're both fantastic teams. They just have a problem at the free throw line, and sometimes their scoring can let them down, especially Houston. But who do I believe is going to win this game? The Houston Cougars, like I said, one of the best defensive teams in college basketball. Kelvin Sampson's squad is very deep, has some talent, just struggles at the line, struggles from the outside, but I do believe that Iowa State is going to have a tough time scoring in this game. Even though they are the better offensive team, they had to beat Houston in a slugfest the first time around on their own floor. They only scored 57 points in that game to get the win, and if Iowa State is only scoring in the 50s again, they're not going to knock off Houston because I believe Houston's offense is going to play better in this game than they did the first time around against the Cyclones because Houston does do a better job on offense on their own floor even though they still are limited on that end. Their defense is so good, and being in the Fertitta Center, it is going to be so tough for the Iowa State Cyclones to even think in that environment. I like TJ Otzelberger's squad, and I believe they're going to give it 110% because with a win, not only would Iowa State sweep the Houston Cougars, they would also have the lead in the Big 12 standings right now if they can get the win, but I'm going to go with the Houston Cougars to knock off the Iowa State Cyclones 69-64. to I think Iowa State will break 60 60 points. I think their offense is going to get some balanced scoring for some of their top scores, but I don't think they're going to have a go-to score in this game. Houston's going to shut a guy down if he starts to get going, and since Iowa State probably won't be able to have a guy that scores 25 points in this game, I think that the Cougars are going to find a way to gut out this win. They're going to be able to find a way to knock down enough free throws down the stretch, even though they will miss a few, to be able to pull out this win, and Kelvin Sampson's squad will be able to get a big win on Big Monday on ESPN and be able to get a lead in the Big 12 standings in the process for now. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Whether you think Iowa State can go on the road and win in the Fertitta Center and knock off the Houston Cougars, or whether you believe that Houston will be able to defend their own floor and stay undefeated on their home floor this season by knocking off the Iowa State Cyclones. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description, and I'll see you next time.